how to make a Roblox game on mobile. Pretty much how to make a game on Roblox Mobile Edition. So if you're on your iPad, tablet, phone, Android, iPhone, whatever, you can make a game on Roblox on your mobile device. Pretty much how to make a Roblox game on mobile. So obviously if we are on the uh, Roblox app, as you see, there's literally no way to actually get, like, literally, there's literally no way to make a game. As you see, if you just scroll about, there's literally nothing, like, there's, like, create right here. But as soon as you go onto the create, it does say Roblox Studio, which is what you use to make a game. It says is available on Windows and Mac. Make anything you can imagine, and yeah, it just pretty much tells you you can't use it. Well, I've actually known somebody who is quite a big developer on Roblox who made a game on Roblox on his mobile and he actually showed me this way now just before a few people in the comments down below say this didn't work this didn't work I know you did not watch the full video even if you miss about 10 seconds of this video if you go ahead and skip forward you might miss a key step in this video so you need to go ahead right here and pretty much follow what I do. I mean, to be fair, how much rub? Yo, guys, let me know right now in the chat. Let me know in the chat. Well, not chat, but if you guys want some like Robux right here, go ahead, like this video, sub to the channel, and drop your Robux usernames down below. As you see, I do actually have a decent amount. I want to give it back to you guys. But yeah, that's not the video. So let's get back into the video. So, making the game on Roblox Mobile. So first step right here, you just want to go ahead and close Roblox. You do not need that. And what you need to do from here is just go off this right here. And what you want to do is to go onto Google um, or Safari, literally any searching browser that you use to Google stuff up. That's what you need. Now, as you see right here, I am on Google and I'll be doing this. And what you want to do is to literally search up Roblox. So I'm going to go ahead and search up Roblox right here. As you see right here, Roblox is here. So I'm going to press onto Roblox. And what you want to do from here is this little bottom bit right here. You want to press this little bottom bit. Do not press continue in app, press continue in browser. That is the first key step of this. So of course you want to go ahead and log on to your Roblox account. So I'll be logging on to my Roblox account right here. So once you do log in, it will actually ask this question again. Well, not really a question, but it will say to use the app. But again, you want to press continue in browser. So now I am in the browser mode of Roblox on my phone or mobile. And this is what you'll be doing to create a game on Roblox on mobile. So from here, you want to do now, obviously right here, let me just show you this. So this is actually my game that I created on mobile right here. And yeah, it's a little bit like, uh, it's like an obby game. It's a little bit like funny, I guess. But again, it has gone over... Yeah, look, 2 million, well, 2.9 million visits. And I have made a decent amount. If I go here, as you see, I've made about, in the past year, I've, yeah, this is the this is the total. All of this is literally from, like, that game I made on Roblox. Like, just from that one game that I made. So, oh, why is it done this again? All right, let me go back onto that. But, yeah, what you want to do from here is to simply press Create. Now press create right here. Now it will actually say this right here. You it, it should say this. Now it should say this. Once you go ahead and press create, it should say this. Roblox Studio is available. Now you're thinking, well, that, that's it then. But look, if you press these these two little A's at the bottom left corner right here, just like this, and press request desktop website. Now, as you see right here, it does not say that anymore. It now says start creating. Or manage my experiences now as we all know when you do actually create your own Roblox account you actually get given a free game now you can actually edit this game by going on to manage my experiences and I will actually press start creating very soon after this after I show you this bit right here so first there's actually two buttons a start creating and then, then then there is manage my experiences and I will explain both to you right now so first manage my experiences now, if you did not know, 
every, pretty much when you when you make your Roblox account, you actually get given a game. Roblox actually make a game for you. It normally just says your your uh, name or your username, and then it just says place. So you can actually edit that game by going ahead onto here. Now, obviously, this is my game right here that I did. Let's just edit this one right here. So you want to press this little edit tool as you see right here. You can press this little edit tool right here. And then of course you can go in ahead and edit that game. But obviously you can have a little look around. So this little dashboard bit at the top, you can go ahead and press that. There's stuff like this right here, like the sponsored ads, there's credentials. Uh, what else is there? There's a lot of stuff right here. Let's just go ahead and go back onto there. There's avatar items. You can actually make a t-shirt if you really wanted to right here. But yeah, events, what else is, what, what is this, All right? But yeah, anyway, so let's just say if I want, wanted to edit this game, you can go ahead and press these little three dots right here. If I press this little again, and right here, where is it? Uh, boom. Wait, what the hell's happening here? Let me just go back. All right, three dots there. But yeah, look, it's stuff like this. So you can go ahead and uh, configure this localization, whatever that is right here. And then of course there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff right here a lot of random stuff when you do actually go into it but of course the basic settings you can of course change the name of your game you can uh, do different stuff you can do overview you can and uh, pretty much do whatever you want really you can literally do an access if you really wanted to and yeah this is pretty cool so far now obviously this is the game that i created on mobile on roblox there's a lot of stuff that you can actually do. Now, if you actually go back right here, if I just go back all the way back to where it says start career, do you remember the, the button that says create right here? If I go ahead and just keep going, oh, went all the way back. Oh, let me just go off this right here. Create right here. And yeah, where the hell is this create button right here? But yeah, anyway, oh yeah, look, stuff like this right here. It will say this, and you can actually download Studio right here if you really wanted to. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff right here, like finish, easy, whatever. Um, you can I can edit this if you really wanted to. You can create a badge. You can, you can actually upload a photo if you really wanted it from your phone. There's a, but yeah, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool feature you can do just from your mobile phone creating the game on Roblox. But yeah, this game is really, this game is pretty good engagement. You can, you can have a look at the stats if you really if you really wanted to. You can retention. How long people play the game for. There's a developer stats right here. How many people with premium have played? How much have, how much I've made from premium, like premium players in Roblox. But yeah, this is quite a cool feature. I'm gonna go ahead and view this on Roblox right here. And yeah, this is my little game right now. It's pretty good. But yeah, hopefully that video helps. That is how to create a game on Roblox Mobile. 